So I'm very happy to be here today to talk to you about the ways that we're working to make your model editing and building swift and elegant. So we want you to be able to work quickly. That's what the smart editing features that we've been delivering over the last several releases have really been all about. Whether that's been finding the blocks you need with only a few keystrokes using quick insert and simulink, smart cues and automatic naming in state flow that allow you to rapidly sketch out your controller logic, tear off cues that automatically create correctly configured partner blocks, saving you that configuration, or context aware selection actions to allow you to rapidly refactor your systems and group related lines into buses. Swiftness is so important to us that it's one of our guiding design principles under the, under the term efficiency. We want to bring you the tools that you need when you need them in the window that you're already working in so that you're able to think about your work and not our software. And we also want your models and charts to look great and for it to be easy for them to be clear and understandable. To that end, we've done things like provide smart guides to help you align and connect the elements of your models. We've upgraded our block icons to use modern vector graphics to make them appear clearer in screen and on print. We've styled our Simscape physical modeling domains to make it easy to distinguish between them. And we've made it possible to use a broad set of LaTeX mathematical typography in your annotations. So what do new releases hold for you? Let's go back to swiftness. Why swiftness? Well, because in software, as in certain sci-fi movies, Speed saves lives. So I'd like to talk about a few more ways that we're working to make your work go faster. We've improved our marquee creation actions in 19B with keyboard shortcuts, as well as size matching and snapping to adjacent objects in the canvas. This allows you to sketch quickly with one hand on the mouse, select the item types with the other hand on the keyboard, and in combination with automatic port creation, very quickly sketch out the broad structure of a model without having to be overly precise with the mouse. We're also making it possible for you to enter text edit mode using the keyboard. You now need only select an object and press F2 to edit the associated text, rather than double clicking on the text, which may present a much smaller target for you. And this works in all of our editors, including Stateflow. Now, building on the infrastructure of the tool strip, we're introducing another way for you to discover and search for the actions you can take on your models, and we call it Quick Launch. When you invoke Quick Insert in 19B, you'll see there's a new tab at the bottom of the results window. It has a keyboard shortcut associated with it. Switching to that tab moves into Quick Launch mode. This allows you to search either in the name or the description of the actions that you're currently able to take. We'll show you how it matches, if there's a keyboard shortcut associated with the action, we'll show that to you as well in the results list and get you to those actions quickly. Now, configuration param is a lot of typing to find this one particular action. So as you can do in quick insert, you can type in just fragments of the word. We'll do some fuzzy matching and we'll get you to those items just as quickly with less typing. Now, what I want to do here is open the property inspector. So I'll just type the initials P and I and you'll see the property inspector is the first result. I can just hit return and the property inspector will open. As I said, this is aware of your selection. So you can select a few items, use the keyboard shortcut to go directly into quick launch, type part of the name of an action you'd like to take and select it with the return key and take that action. And as with the other things we try and do, this works across all of the domains we support, Simulink, Stateflow and System Composer. So we want our tools to be elegant, easy to understand, and reliable. And we also want to enable you to build elegant, understandable, and reliable models. Simplicity is another one of our guiding principles. So what are we doing on that front? Well, we've expanded our smart guides. We've added equal spacing guides, as well as guides that appear when you resize objects in the canvas to make it easier for you to lay out your models cleanly. The toolstrip also exposes many layout and formatting tools that were previously buried under submenus. This makes them easier to reach and will make it that much easier for you to get your models to have the look and appearance that you want. We've also enhanced Create Subsystem 
and in 19b, it'll create subsystems that are sized much more appropriately for the number of ports and the labels on those ports than previous releases. In 19b, we've also finished integrating our channel router so that routing of adjacent lines will be both more performant and look a lot better, whether you're moving one block or 100. Starting in 19A, we are even giving you a clean starting point for the layout of your models by allowing you to automatically arrange entire systems at the click of a button. So we try to make our tools both swift and elegant, speedy and simple. Now, Simulink and Stateflow have a lot of features, but we hope that with things like the tool strip, quick launch, and our smart editing features, we're, ha we're able to automate the things that we can do on your behalf, keep the simple things simple, and make the complicated things possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>